Hello everyone, it's Lady Eve Elements. Welcome to my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please find that information in the description box below. Welcome subscribers, non-subscribers, as well as cross-watchers. I welcome any and all to my channel. I always do my prayers and my blessings to my tarot cards before I hit the channel. Sometimes not everybody needs to see what your prayers are, okay? Yeah. This is basically a collective reading. So I'm keep it short and sweet. Whatever comes out, comes out. Whatever is hidden, I'll find out. Okay, we can see between the veil and I can see through all blocks. So, with that in mind, please hit the thumbs up and bell notification to be notified of upcoming content. I also do celebrity readings. So yes, I am a celebrity psychic as well. I delve deep inside what's going on with Hollywood entertainment. Because <laughs> not all is what it seems out there, y'all. Now let's get into it. So for the collective reading, We all know how this go. I'm not time stamping. Time is fluid. Also, whatever card pops out, that is the message spirit wants you to know. Okay? And needs you to know as well. Let's always keep high vibrational attitudes in the room. Always vibrate high. Don't let no one steal your shine or your thunder. You are God and goddess of your own. You are the captain of your own ship. You have the choice to change your destiny. Mind you, this is only advice from us tarot card readers in the community. You can choose to take the advice and run with it, or you can choose not to. Everybody has free will. We are only the messengers, like Archangel Samael. You know him as Samuel. Spirit of the Most High God, look at this. Messages. <laughs> Spirit of the Most High God, what messages does the collective need to hear as well as see? And right off the bat, we got the Eight of Pentacles flat on the floor and the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Okay. Eight stands for mastery, accomplishment, and action also as well as abundant but i see here with eight of pentacles someone is hard at work minding a business head down to the grindstone get down to the nitty-gritty this person is pretty much focused on their work and ain't taking no pleasure in action outside of that okay so this person is working this person cut off communication to any and all that would disturb what they're working on. Okay, so this person is a master at what they are doing. Master artistry, I just heard. Master artist. This person possi possibly could be a Virgo, a perfectionist, being that eight is the master. Number eight is mastery, accomplishment, in action so this person is putting foot to action and they're hard at work whatever it is they could be working on a relationship they could be working on the job trying to gain a promotion so they got their head down their head is down and they're focused this person is hella focused this person i'm getting the vibes of a perfectionist here this person will cut anybody off that gets in the way of them trying to accomplish an end result to what they're do, what they're trying to obtain here. Okay. Any other messages, spirit? I feel also. I'm getting the feeling that also while someone's at work, they turn off their cell phone. They're also not communicating with coworkers around them. As well, we got the seven of swords. 
someone's trying to come in and make a confession and this person just blatantly cut them off like I ain't trying to work on that I'm working on something else <clears throat> we got the ace of swords reverse six of pentacles reverse knight of cups along with the king of swords there's a lot of mental energy a lot of communication that's trying to come in ten of swords reverse re, ten of swords reverse at the bottom of, of the deck okay again like i said there's a lot of information trying to come into this individual this earth sign taurus virgo capricorn and this person is just blatantly cutting everybody off they're not aware of what's going on around them. They're too focused on their work. I see like an air sign trying to come in and communicate with this individual. Okay? This this air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, is trying to come in and offer this air sign a cup of love, but they're not sure. Okay, this could be a past relationship as well. I don't see the Six of Cups that don't need to be here to carry the energy thereof. But there's some sort of confusion here that is throwing this air sign off balance in regards to this air sign wanting to offer this earth sign. Their energy, their love, their loving energy, I just heard. Okay, they're thrown off by there's some sort of confusion that lies here so this air sign king of swords this person is in their head they're wanting to communicate this they're wanting to bring in an offer right they're wanting to bring in an offer don't pay no mind that's my cat in the background this person definitely wants and wants to give an offer to this earth sign this earth sign works a lot this earth sign brings in the pinnacles bring in a lot of money they focus on their work more so than this person here. But this person is focused on, this air sign is focused on this earth sign. But yet again, this earth sign cut off communication to this air sign here. They, they're not even, it looks like this earth sign, this Virgo, this Taurus, this Capricorn, look like they're not even aware that this air sign wants to offer them this cup of love this message is coming in this person wants to bring i'm hearing sweet messages loving messages they may even want to text this individual while this person's working and this person just literally shuts their phone off <laughs> someone wants to confess their love and the earth sign is too busy focused on work that is what i'm getting here that's crazy <laughs> Oh my God. Spirit, any other messages for the collective? Yeah, since, like I said, a previous relationship, someone wants to reconcile four of wands. All right, this person, this air sign's over there spying on this earth sign. Oh, unbelievable. Possibly talking to their friends about this earth sign. There's a lot of passionate energy that this air sign has for this earth sign. Any other messages, Spirit, for the collective? Any other messages? You know what? That's the only reason why the air sign want to come back around to the earth sign. Because the sex is good. I'm looking at the page of wands here. There's a possibility they may have a kid together. Or someone's just immaturely thinking only with their bottom part. Okay. Ooh, someone about to get a man. Okay, you know what? Uh-uh.
some of you may be receiving a reconciliation, but the reconciliation only is going to come from someone who's being very manipulative. Could be dealing with an Aries, the or Sagittarius. There's a lot of wands here across the board. Four of wands reversed. Four of wands reversed. We have the magician, which is Aries. That's also reversed. We have the page of wands here. That's passionate communication. Someone's, give me a second, nine of wands reversed. And then we also, oh, sorry, nine of cups reversed, nine of wands reversed. It's almost a completion to this. Attainment, fulfillment, and fruition. Because we got double nines here, nine of cups, nine of wands. Both are in the reverse position. And nine stands for attainment, fulfillment, and fruition. Somebody wanting their wish to be. Granted, obviously, whoever is trying to manipulate this situation concerning the reconciliation, it's not happening. It's not happening. It will not happen. It is not happening. It's not balanced. The situation is not balanced. So whatever needs to resolve here in order for this reconciliation to come through, there needs to be a balance. And you have temperance, Sag the card of Sagittarius, in the reverse. There's the, mm -mm, mm -mm, it's not balanced. One part, one partner is coming up out of that healing, and another one is not healing. They're still in the energy of the Seven of Swords. They're still being sneaky. They're still fucking lying. This person will forever be severed ties from their soulmate because of this energy that they're carrying with them. Lie, cheat, steal. I'm, I, I'm. I swear to you, may he rest in, in paradise. May he rest in peace. Eddie Guerrero, WWF champion wrestler. When he always used to come out on stage in his his car acting like a cholo. Y'all know what I'm talking about out there for those who know what cholos are. Okay, what, what was the song? I lie. What was the song? The Mexican anthem. We lie, we cheat, we steal. We lie, we cheat, we steal. We lie, we cheat, we steal. One is healing, and one is not healing. One one partner is healing, and the other is not. And the one that's not healing is the one trying to manipulate the situation for reconciliation. Manipulation, and their manipulation tactics are not fucking working. It's not working and it won't work the universe won't let it work okay so if y'all dealing with someone that's trying to come back around we all know mercury is retrograde okay dealing with someone trying to come back around it won't occur the universe won't let it nine of wands won't does someone come in here acting like a wounded warrior like they're a victim mentality acting like they're the victim when they they're the actual cause of the separation so be, just be mindful. Just be mindful of any exes coming in your life, okay? I also make it a note that I do not put myself in these readings. Just so, just so y'all know. I never put myself in these readings. That's why I always cross my legs to keep my energy out. That's how I keep my energy out of the reading. I don't read my I don't read myself with the damn collective. I don't care what y'all may think. I never read myself with the collective. That's not going to happen. Okay. My energy does never get up in this damn reading. Some of the readers out there be doing them damn readings. And then shit happened to them. I cross off my energy. I cancel it out. It's no, it, I make sure I separate from the collective. When I'm done doing my readings and my prayers and what have you, then my energy can resume its course. I cut my energy off, honey. I don't ever put myself in this collective read. I'm reading for those that need to hear the message from source directly. Y'all need to hear the message. Any messages source got for me comes in my dreams. I don't need to hear these messages. These messages are for y'all, okay? If it resonates with you, that's good. If it don't, that's even better. Because then that means this message does, is not for you. It's for those that need to hear it. And your message may lie somewhere else. 
another channel, another reader. You can pay for a reading and get a personal reading. Remember, these are only collective readings. It's collective for y'all, okay? Not for me. For y'all. Know this. Source. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do they need to hear from you? What What are you trying to speak? Speak through the tarot, please. There's that eight of wands again. Someone blocks someone off because they don't want to work with them. Or you could be at work. This This is a lot of work ethic energy coming in. Three of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Wands reversed again. All right, someone is not wanting to work with someone. It's falling apart. That's what I'm getting. It's falling apart. Could be three people involved. Okay, if this deals with, if this is in regards to love, someone puts someone in a third party situation and the other person is blocked the hell off. Okay? They're blocked from communicating on all levels, even including social media. Someone found out, someone put someone in a third party situation and they no longer want to deal with that individual. The individual is being funny. Acting funny style. Any other messages from the collective? Ooh, it fell. Yes, I do take cards that fall on the floor. If source says to take the card that fall on the floor, I will take it. If source tells me not to take the card that fell on the floor, I will not take it. Okay. It all depends. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Whoever didn't get justice in a situation, home, work, love, or life, okay, that's fine. Because someone's coming to you to confess what they did to you. They want to come out of the energy of the regret and the remorse that they feel for fucking you over. Okay? Justice is reversed. Five of Cups reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. This person has been up at night. I'm hearing this person's been up at night and they've been contemplating this for a while. Okay, they want to come out of this energy by confessing, making a confession. They want to tell the truth now. Now they want to tell you what they did. They know they did you injustice. Now they want to bring a balance to the situation. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Either way. Yeah, my chair because my ass too big. <laughs> That's right, big booty hoe, hot booty. I'm on Friday. Let me shut up. Craig, now tell me who she is. <laughs> big booty hoe, hot booty. Let's find out what's going on in your love life. Is there new love coming? Is there new love coming? We don't want to see no damn exes. Look, it didn't even want to, <laughs> like, if you saw what the hell. Okay. What's going on with the collective, Yeshua? Spirit of the Most High God. What's going on, Yeshua? Show me, Yeshua. Ooh, okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. Yeshua, what's going on with the collective? What's going on with the collective? Someone finds you very attractive, okay? You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Some of you are in the habit of self-love and self-care. Like, you take care of yourself. You're looking good, smelling good. Coochie smell like candy, okay? Men, you're looking good, smelling good. You smell like ash cologne or you smell like cool waters or polo. I'm hearing polo. Mm. Lord have mercy, you smell good. I can smell you from here. Smell your balls too. Let me see. Ooh. 
some of y'all are now in the swing of things because you are recently divorced okay what is this what is this what is this what is, what is this mm. okay we're gonna get into that in a minute okay yes yeah, sure. well what messages do you have for the collective regarding love I'm singing about food, y'all. That's sad. Okay, now, some of you are not staying very optimistic when it comes to your love life. Some of you, this is for those that have gone out of a recent breakup and you're still feeling functified you're feeling funky down and out look okay. it's thing but it don't burn you understand it's thing but it don't burn get your ass up go take a shower put some cologne on put some perfume on envelop that ocean attitude that is zili freda aura Look your best, get your hair done, look in the mirror and tell yourself you are the baddest bitch walking this planet. Okay? You are the baddest man out here. Every woman wants you. Look in the mirror, look at yourself eye to eye in that damn mirror and speak that affirmation. You are beautiful. You are a powerful being made from God. Okay? Whatever the affirmation is, you need to tell yourself you are a beautiful goddess. You are powerful. That person wasn't meant for you. They weren't on the same wavelength as you. They didn't elevate like you are. Or vice versa. Or maybe you're not elevated and you need to go heal yourself. Either case, some of you are not that optimistic. You have negative mindset. Positive thinking of faith will bring you romance. You lost, Some of you may have lost your faith in love or in the ability to love, give love, or receive love. And this is due to the way you perceive how love should be, how love should go, how love sh should period. Okay? You're looking at it in the wrong perspective. Love is not about sex. You can't base a relationship off of sex. Okay, it's based off the heart and mind and spirit, especially spirit. If it is based off of lust, and which is sex, of course, then guess what's going to happen? It ain't going to last long. Okay, get out of your Lilith. Get out of your little suck it by ink it by demon little scrotum and vaginas down there. And get your mind right. Or you, or universe is going to make you get some act right. Okay, think positive when it comes to love. Keep your mind at a high, at a high vibrational mindset. Even if you are single and just got out of a relationship, you may have been single for ten years. I'm here in fifteen years. I'm here in twenty years. Some been single for, God knows, like may may have been dating. But even while you're dating, you still have a negative mindset because you're not high vibing. Okay, keep your mind at a high vibrational mindset every time you go out on a date or every time you go out by yourself to the clubs or to the supermarket or to get some seafood and get your crabs and your shrimps or whatever you got to do you are always thinking positive stop listening also to these low denominational vibrational music music out there da, na, na. Do, 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 da, na, na. do you know those low based undertones actually attract negative energy it keeps you in a negative mindset you need high vibrational music i'll tell you what high vibrational music is have you heard bruno mars um hold on give me one second bruno mars song not bruno mars what is his name Leave the doors open. 
listen to the tone and the music. I know YouTube probably ain't gonna let me play it, but this is only an example. YouTube, don't shoot shoot the messenger. I'm trying to t show people. Listen to the beat. Hear how high vibrational this? Listen, it's love energy. What you do? Where you at? You need to listen to music like this. This puts you in a vibe. High vibrational. Keep your mind positive. Hear it? Just smooth like a newborn. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? That's high vibrational. All that other stuff like Cardi B's press, 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 and and any do anything for clout and all that trap music that trap music is low vibrational street music ghetto music i said it and i'm black what you gonna do nothing i grew up in the ghetto let me tell you something music like that is gonna block you block you from everything around you love money success whatever it is you need high vibrational love energy in in manifesting positive mindset positive mind thought the way you thinking you need to keep your mind like that when you're looking for love real love that'll pull in your soulmate stuff like that that'll pull your soulmate in not any of this little trap music and all that nonsense okay so what i see here those okay so you surpass checking for red flags you're looking your best you're looking attractive but i don't see you having like romantic feelings for anybody it's like you're not looking for anyone as of yet okay like i said you just got out of a relationship that was very deceptive you're not dealing with anyone deceptive someone may have been hiding the fact that they had kids behind your back that you were dating okay but either way you left that situation alone but it left you shook in the negative mindset you don't need to be in a negative mindset. What should the collective do? Because I already told y'all what y'all need to do. Okay. Some of you will be meeting the Emperor Aries. Someone that is a real man. That, that when you're in, at your high vibrational state. That's when this person is going to come in. Stability. Stabilitating influence. Oh, he coming. This is the one you want to hold on to. This person here. Is not going to be like the ex, the person you just left or divorced. This person here, you're going to want to hold on to, or they want to hold on to you. This person saves their money. This person has money. They got money, honey. They got moolah. It's a fire sign coming into your life. This person has a lot of money. They're very well off. They're not selfish or stingy. All right? You need, they'll give you the shirt off their back. This individual has kids of their own. Because this is a, remember, the emperor is a father figure. Okay. For some of you, this is a past person that you knew that, that was a friend, not necessarily an ex. This person's in the head about coming around to you. They're very much guarded. They're not sure if you're actually, you know, accept them. Accept them into your life because they are a past person. Some of you are holding on to past memories of an ex that was a fire sign. And this is the person that you're longing to be with. Wow. Okay. You're longing to be with this one, but again, there's that uncertainty with the nine of wands. Because you've been wounded already from this, this recent past relationship you broke up with. So you're not sure. It's like you're not sure, but be ready. This person is coming. This person is coming. With that being said, this is your collective reading. If you like the book of reading, again, all that information is in the description box below. Hit that thumbs up, like button, bell notification to be notified of upcoming content. Everybody be blessed. Stay healed.